History. History is the important part of the past that everyone's forced to study at school, yet no one actually remembers 10 years later. But history marks monumental events, and I know, I know what you're going to say. I already studied US history, is there really need for more? Well the answer is yes. The United States accounts for a small portion of the world's entire history. So what's going on with the rest of the world? What are their issues? Well, I wish I could tell you, I wish I was that smart to actually know, but what I can educate you on is the lack of freedom of expression to the media there is in Nigeria. Now, everyone knows that freedom of expression plays a huge role despite where you are in the world. But specifically in Nigeria, freedom of expression, and not just any kind of freedom of expression, but freedom of expression directed towards the media is a huge problem. We need freedom of expression of the media so that Nigerian citizens can know what is actually going on in their country. But if the government continues to limit news that makes them look bad, or news that they feel would worry as citizens, their whole government will collapse. World Report even stated that many journalists can be arrested and intimidated when reporting on an issue that is implicating Nigeria's political and economic elite. However, if the government gets organized and stays truthful to their people, this problem can be resolved. Journalists from all over the country won't have to fear coming to Nigeria and publishing their journal, and the citizens will have accurate information be presented, be presented to them to see what is actually happening in Nigeria. Something that has to be known about Nigeria is that it was always unstable. The year was 1914 when Nigeria gained its independence from the United Kingdom. In that time, they were struggling with many rights, including with freedom of expression. The government was unorganized, and at that time, they weren't focusing on the rights. They were just focusing on actually starting up their government. Starting up a government takes lots of work, so they let the rights slip out of their own hands. Sl slip out of their own hands slowly until it became this huge issue that Nigeria will have a hard time dealing with. 2012 was one of the years with the highest journalist killing rate. There were more than 185 deaths that year that is known of. In January, Nan Sok Sala, who was a news editor for the federal government's Highland FM, was found dead under a bridge in Jaws. In April, Abraham Mohammed, a film editor with Africa Independent Television, a private station, was found dead in a Kadana. Later that same month, Chuck Oga, a cameraman with a private television station, was gunned, was gunned down in Benin City. There has to be an end to these horrible crimes. Now, I know we can't make everyone agree with us to help end world issues. It's something almost impossible to do. But, we, but what we can do is try. For example, the former president of Nigeria, Sani Abacha, secured 60 false security vote letters to get money from the Central Bank of Nigeria. More than $700 million were delivered to him in cash. Would you like to have someone like this run in your country? So, Nigeria, so if Nigeria just started by, by having a well-organized government, the future laws of Nigeria can improve. Those laws including freedom of expression of the media. See, if we take a look back when Nigeria gained its independence from the United Kingdom, the reason why the rights were ignored were because they were unorganized. The government was only focusing on shining up and not, and not on and on themselves, that they pushed away the rights of people. But if the government started to organize, you have to start up while still taking in consideration while still taking in consideration the rights of the citizens, then this either wouldn't ever have happened or it would not be such a big deal. So right now Nigeria is still at step one. They are the same exact way they were when they first started. There aren't new improvements that actually had made a difference. But if Nigeria slowly started to change, slowly started to clean up their government, they could change how freedom of expression of the media is viewed in, their, is, is viewed in Nigeria. It can go from a selfish country to a free country that does not limit anyone's right. So if Nigeria started to create a better government, no journalist will have to fear the life when coming to Nigeria. The citizens, as well as other people who want to know the economic state of Nigeria will not be lied to. Nigeria will actually become the country they always wanted to be. They want to be portrayed as a really good country. So starting out with a strong, organized government will help make that statement actually true. Thanks for watching.